Okay, good morning. It's like three something in the morning, going on four. I'm up, but I'm gonna be going back to bed. I'm just gonna make this video uh, for later. When I get back up, I'll upload it. You'll be seeing it uh, a little later in this day. But I just uh, I just ordered me a phone. To, I'm just gonna use Boost. I used to have Boost years ago before it changed over, and now it's like I don't know. I was able to get a phone, like a Motorola, for like $9.99, and then I got a unlimited uh, talk and text and data plan with 12 gigabytes of hotspot, so that was all for like 50 something dollars. It'll come in the mail with a SIMS card. I'll just have to follow the directions. Now, <laughs> that'll be the tricky part. Hopefully, I can get all that set up without any complications when it comes. We'll see how that goes. Shouldn't be too, if I just follow the instructions, I should be all right. I'm just frustrated because like I was trying not to have to pay my bill for this service on the tablet until I was able to either upgrade with the same people, the same plan, and the same uh, provider I've been with forever. But they're phasing out a bunch of stores, so the nearest store closed down. So I'm trying to call the 1-800 number. I'm being on hold for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes at a time. And in the automated system, it's saying that when I get an agent on the phone, they're not going to be able to tell me any of the deals for my upgrade because I'm long overdue for an upgrade. Hadn't upgraded in over two years. So I could get a deal. I might even be able to get something for free, but apparently I can't do it on the phone. I try to go online. When I get online on the website, I don't know. It's just a headache. So I went and just ordered a phone from Boost. It, and then I'm probably gonna pay my bill uh, today, it's due. I'm gonna probably pay my bill so that I don't lose any service and I'm just gonna have to deal with this stupid tablet uh, not being able to charge. Like it doesn't wanna charge, like I have to turn it off and then it's like, it's a constant all day long thing where, anyway, once I get this phone coming in and get it all activated and I am able to do stuff from the phone, it won't be as, uh, I won't be as in dire need uh, if the tablet is having difficulty that day charging. I just prefer the tablet as far as when I'm watching any entertainment or doing things, it's a little bit bigger screen. So no, I haven't got a laptop yet. I don't know when I'll be able to get a laptop, probably in the next month or two. But, you know, the next step after today is uh, I was going to go and get my ID today, but uh, I have had two long days uh, yesterday, my landlord came by and we did uh, a cleanup on the back side of my trailer. There was some junk and stuff out there. I helped load some of that stuff up with one arm, of course. I can't use both arms. I'm trying to be careful with this one here on the brace, you know, with, with the brace that's a little too small. But anyway, that's enough of a morning, early, early morning rant. I'm going to read you a story from Random Acts of Kindness. And I thought that would be a good way to start the day. It's, a, uh, you know, there's one story here, but I'll read it some other time. I decided to pick this one here. I don't know. It just stood out. I used to jog through the park every morning, and I always went by an old woman who sat on a bench with a small, very old mangy dog. One day I noticed her dog wasn't with her. For some reason, I stopped and asked her where he was. Suddenly, tears started running down the lines in her face, and she told me he had died the night before. I sat and talked with her for over an hour. Every day after that, we would greet each other as I came by. Sometimes I would stop and talk with her for a while. She was very lonely, but also very strong, and to this day, I think of her when I'm sad, and it makes me smile. Here's a quote underneath here. We cannot live only for ourselves. A thousand fibers connect us with our fellow men. And among those fibers, as sympathetic threads, our actions run as causes. And they come back to us as effects. Somebody, naming, uh, somebody named Herman Melville uh, either wrote that or said that. So that's who that quote's from. Uh Oh, goodness. I got to find my pen. I like to uh, 
every time I share a story from this book, I'm like, uh, I'll show you. Like these two I've shared, but I've wrote, uh, if you'll see up here, I've wrote like uh, YT. That lets me know that I've done a video with it, that I've read it into the camera. <laughs> like I don't want to get into repeats, you know. Not this early on anyway. Um, so I got to make, so I'm going to have to make a mark on this page. I'm going to put a little mark on that page so that I know I've done done that particular reading. I think that was a good one, though. I think that was really good, you know. That was just a simple little somebody jogging every day, seeing somebody, and then finally they ask a question, you know, because the dog's not there, and then it brings two people together. That's a beautiful thing, you know. Maybe today you'll be inspired to help somebody or make somebody smile. Uh why don't you start off by looking in the mirror today and telling yourself you love yourself and smile at yourself. Let's see if that works for you. You know, if you're having kind of a bad morning, tell yourself you love yourself. Tell yourself you like yourself. Smile at yourself. Tell yourself you love yourself. I know I already said that. There's nothing wrong with that. We got to love ourselves before we can really spread love to anybody else. And, uh, so all the aggravation and the headaches over uh, my device not wanting to charge and having a headache about the, you know, I mean, it's just crazy. So moving along forward, hopefully I will uh, be able to, uh, I figure I settled, I've got the situation under control. I, I, what I didn't want was to go another month without some sort of device that I can connect to, even though, so if this tablet goes kaput and it won't charge at all no more, at least I'll have a phone once I get it set up and uh, I can work from it until I can get a better and more appropriate uh, device for doing YouTube and stuff, which, you know, I've said over and over, a laptop is what I am aiming for and, uh, we got half a year still left. You know, God's got all kinds of things on the way. So uh, until next time, Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out, ditto.